It is crunch time for those who have waited to file their taxes. Just one week to make a few last minute moves that could trim your tax bill and save you some money. So we called in, as usual, our senior personal finance correspondent, Sharon Epperson, with some tips. So, Sharon, what can people do at this last minute to just maybe save that little bit more? Well, let's talk about how you can boost your saving and trim your taxes at the same time. And one way to do that is with an IRA, with an individual retirement account, a deductible one. Mm -hmm. If you have no company workplace plan for retirement, you can put in the full amount into an IRA as of April 15th. You have to do it by that deadline, $5,500 or $6,500 if you're 50 or older. Now, if you do have a 401k or a plan at work, then you're going to have some income limits there in terms of how much you can deduct. But it is a place to start. The next place is to look at a health savings account. If you have a high deductible health insurance plan, you're eligible to put money into a health savings account as much as $3,450 if you're an individual, $6,900 for a family, and you can add another $1,000 if you're 55 or older. So those are two places you can save money and then also save on your taxes. Mm -hmm. In a uh, strong market, you often see uh, freelancers, you know, people take uh, extra jobs. I've got a lot, a lot of friends who are retired who are freelancers in various industries. Are there special tax benefits for that as well? You're an independent contractor, so you get some special tax breaks. You got to fill out a special tax form, a Schedule C, but on that form, you're able to put in some expenses that could save you a lot of money. Your business meals, your office supplies, your required equipment, that new laptop that you had to get for that job, those are possible deductions on your taxes as long as you have the right documentation and you put that on the correct form. Now to parents. We both are parents, but uh, yours are a little older, my dear. <laughs> Just a little. Just a little. But are there things that, that parents can do? Well, for this great tax credit, which means a dollar for dollar savings on your taxes, that's the difference between a credit and a deduction, getting the child care tax credit is wonderful. But your kids do have to be younger. They have to have babysitters or be in daycare. But summer day camp also counts, and a lot of parents forget about that. If you spent money to put your kid in day camp or you're looking into it, um, and they're younger kids, this is something that you definitely want to look into. Overnight camp, unfortunately, does not qualify. But what you can save and what you can claim is 35% of qualifying expenses. For one wow. child, that's up to $3,000. For two children or more, up to $6,000. That can be significant, Absolutely. particularly as camp costs, as we know, yes, have we been do. climbing. <laughs> they sure have. Exactly. Sharon, thanks so much. Sure. Thank you, Sharon. Sharon Epperson. My pleasure.